praying to God every day, show me the truth. I am ready to see the truth, no matter which religion it is. I want to go down that path. And ever since you guys posted that first podcast, I have been like, yeah, no, this is it. Like everything you say just makes sense. The more, the more you say about it, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no contradictions about it. There's nothing in my mind going, no, nah, this is, this don't make sense to me. Everything is like, yes, this is, this is almost perfect. This is it. If there is a religion out there that is the truth, it would have to be Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Guys and girls, welcome back to T3M. It's yours, Fayyad, with Rami. Uh, don't mind Anil not being home. He had some prior uh, arrangements, so he will be on next time, inshallah. We got Kevin from Ireland. How you doing, Kevin? All good, man. How are you, sir? Yeah, we're, we're solid. So, uh, Kevin actually reached out to us. He's been You've been watching Anil for a couple of years, right? And then you found a podcast. And tell me, man, tell me a little bit about your journey, how you were in terms of religion, where you were, and what kind of brought you to want to revert to Islam. All right. So I grew up as, like, I was born into becoming a Catholic. So just basically, that's what my parents believed in. Um, my dad's a strong believer in that. My mom is just a bit, like, she doesn't believe at all, but she kind of believes in a God. Um, so I kind of just grew up believing in that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, as I got older, it just, I kind of just faded away from it. Like my parents, they, they weren't, they weren't strict on it. They just kind of like, yeah, you can have your own beliefs, whatever. And um, I just started to kind of fade away from believing in a God. Um, I didn't really look into it too much either. I kind of just thought like, oh, that just sounds so unrealistic. Um, didn't make sense to me. Um, yeah, so I just kind of stopped believing in the kind of new age stuff, you know, yourself with that, that third eye and all that. <laughs> I kind of start looking into that a bit. Um, and in a way, it kind of brought a sense of inner peace. But it's, it's, um, it's hard to explain. It just... It won't bring you that that fullness, like feeling whole, like grounded. It won't do that to you. It's kind of like short term gratification in a way. Builds your ego. Um, but it's not good in the long run. I don't feel like anyways. It wasn't good for me. That sort of stuff just kind of brought more anxieties than anything else. Um so yeah, I faded away from that again and I just kind of lost touch with religious side, a spiritual side, just kind of like to look at someone who was religious and to see that it would kind of be like, I'd kind of be like, oh, they're just a bit weird. Like, you know, <laughs> it just didn't make sense to me. So I was going through a rough, uh, like a rough stage in my life. Like this was going over, it was spanning over, I'd say a whole year. And I just, I just started praying again because I was like, why not? Um, what's the worst that can happen? So I was like, I'll just reach out, reach out, see what happens. Like, what else? What do, I, what do I've got to lose? So every night before I'd sleep, I just kind of pray to God. Whatever I thought God was at that stage, I just kind of pray to him. And yeah, just asking him for a better life, a better everything, really. And then kind of just yeah, I didn't really know what I was doing. So, anyways, a few weeks later, this was this was like a year on from like this r really bad period in my life. Like this is probably the worst period of my life that I've had. Um. So yeah, I was watching a YouTube video, and this guy just started talking about God, and this is this is like a small YouTuber, like this guy that I watch. He just started talking about God. I don't know why, but. He, um, he was talking about basically everything about submitting to God and letting, just kind of giving yourself over to the creator. Like, and what I 
didn't realize what I was doing was I was trying to control my life, everything around me. I was putting all the pressure on myself and everything he said just kind of spoke with me. And it was this weird experience, like almost similar to uh, Angel, Angel's, um, I'm, I'm not saying his name right, but Angel, his, his experience, the way he kind of, the way he kind of had these feelings come to him. And I can kind of relate to him a little bit because when this guy was speaking in his video, it almost felt like a whole weight was lifted off my shoulders and I felt this like presence, would you say? Just just this like like everything was going to be okay. And I did not have an ounce of doubt in that. I just knew like everything was going to be okay. And I I believed in a God one hundred percent after after that experience. Like it just kind of clicked to me. I don't know what it was, but um yeah, and I didn't know anything about God or any religions, even Catholic, Christianity, Islam, anything like that. I did not know anything about any of them. And I just kind of was like, okay, God has to be real. I just, I just felt something here. So ever since then, I've been kind of been seeing little signs and little, little almost similarities like that. And it's just like, just backing that up. It wasn't like a once-off thing. Um, so yeah, I, I just started believing in, uh, you know, Jesus again, because, I, cause that's what, I, that's all I knew. That's what I grew up to believe. And I was like, okay, yeah, I bought, uh, a cross necklace and I was like, all right, this is, I believe. Um, and I got in the car, the day I bought that cross necklace, uh, a song popped up and it was like, uh, the first words, uh, that came onto the song from the radio. My dad turned on the radio. And I had this necklace on. And the first thing, I swear, the song said, uh, it was like, oh, you're going to go to heaven or something like that. <laughs> I'm a bad singer. I'm not going to try to recreate it. But it said, you're going to go to heaven. And that was like another, like back up to that sort of, sort of story. Anyways, that sort of thing, like that of my belief. Um, yeah, so I was like, wow, this is kind of crazy. Like, th this is kind of crazy. I need to look more into this. I just can't, I can't just sit and um, expect to have all these great things happen to me. Like, I kind of felt this need to go out there and uh, look more into it and kind of, I don't know, I felt like I kind of needed to show how grateful I am to God, if that makes sense, you know? Mm hmm hundred percent, man. And, and I was going to ask you, like, what brought you specifically to Islam? When did you know? I know because you, you came to me and you had some inquiries. You were like, okay, I, I feel good about Islam. I have some type of concern with the free will thing. And then we talked about it or here and there, you know, this concern, that concern. But when did you realize that hundred percent Islam was the answer? Yeah. So, um, I was praying and looking more into it and just this whole Christianity, Catholic, all that, all that sort of side, all the other religions. Cause like I delved deep into them all. I was looking into them all because I wanted to know the truth. I was praying to God every day, show me the truth. I am ready to see the truth. No matter which religion it is, I want to go down that path. Um, so yeah, I start praying to him every day, every night. And just trying to look for any signs I could see. Um, and I was looking more into the religion I grew up with and it just did not make sense to me whatsoever. It didn't click with me. You know, like a, the more you look into it, it didn't click. So, so then this is what kind of brought me to Islam. I was watching, as you know, I know uh, Angel. I've known him since three, four years. I just used to watch his YouTube videos and I'd look up to this guy, you know, he helped me, his tips, they helped me a lot. And I respect his word. And he post, he posted a video of him uh, reverting to becoming a Muslim. And I was like, oh, this is kind of crazy. I might just, I might just look into it. Um, and ever since you guys posted that first podcast, I have been like, yeah, no, this is it. Like everything you say just makes sense. The more the more you say about it, 
it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no contradictions about it. There's nothing in my mind going, nah, this is, this don't make sense to me. Everything is like, yes, this is, this is almost perfect. This is it. This, this has to be the truth. If there is a religion out there that is the truth, it would have to be Islam. Um, and yeah, I look more into it. A lot of other channels um, and just everything that I've been learning about it, it just, it, it seems like the right way. Now, I definitely do believe that God, the only way he could have reached me to become close with him was through Jesus at that time. Because if so, if God, if if I had received like a sign to go straight to Islam, I would have been like, "No, nah, what's what's this? This does not make no sense whatsoever," you know. But because I grew up with um with like Jesus, the church is all around me to kind of see all them signs to have it relate to me a little bit. It was like, okay, yeah, I want to get closer to God now, and now I now I'm ready to go to the truth. And that Alhamdulillah, like, man. Close to Islam. Yeah, yeah. That's proper, man. What I will say uh, to any of you guys that are the viewers today at home, we will, inshallah, without a doubt, have Kevin back on another podcast to tell us his story after reverting what happened, his kind of journey, what he did. Because, again, you're new into this, right? It's not really fair asking you about what's your journey after becoming Muslim because you haven't even done your shahada yet. But after you become Muslim, how was it to learn how to pray? It's, it's easy, but we want to know your take on it. You know, kind of the changes you had to make. So we will have a whole full length episode, inshallah. And we, we would love to have you on that. Um, but uh, again, for now, we got like five minutes left on the clock. So I say we just go in with the shahada. And yeah, man, I had a feeling you were ready when you reached out to me for a, a meal plan. For those of you that know, don't know, Kevin is one of the select few that's a, a client of mine because I do online coaching. And he reached out and he was like, okay, give me a meal plan, just no pork. And I was like, okay, that's, that's kind of interesting. But again, it's, it's almost like we become Muslim before we become Muslim. So mashallah with that. I know your fitra, your soul has already accepted it. You kind of work towards your ego, just accepting it now. Uh, so yeah, I say we just seal the deal and legitimize it right now. So in terms of the actual shahada, Rami, do you want to tell him the English transliteration first? Or translation first. English translation first. Yeah, let's let's go over that. Okay, yeah. So Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Praises to Allah, the most merciful, the especially merciful, uh, who guided you, who guided me, who guided Fayyad and all the Muslims, alhamdulillah. So firstly, oh, when we say the testimony, we're testifying, this is the translation. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah. Right? So anything you could take as to worship, none of it is worthy of worship except God, Allah, alone. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his last and final messenger. That's the shahada. That is the first thing you need to believe in and say in to actually be a full Muslim. So with that Perfect. being said, my dear brother Kevin, are you ready to say the shahada? Yeah. All right. All right. So first, we're, you're going to repeat after me in Arabic, and then we're going to say in English, okay? We're going to go slow, okay? Ashadu. Ashadu. An la. An la. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa. Wa. Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammad. Muhammad. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. And now you're going to repeat after me in English. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is no God worthy of worship. That there is no God worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That the Prophet Muhammad. That the Prophet Muhammad. Is his last and final messenger. Is his last and final messenger. Allahu Akbar. Congratulations, Habibi Kevin. You are now a Muslim. Congratulations, Habibi, on accepting the truth. Nothing makes me more happy, Allah. MashaAllah. Kevin, man, uh, what's the first thing that comes to mind right now? I'm just grateful I've stumbled across the truth right now, man. You know, 
I'm grateful that I've been put on this path to kind of, you know, better myself, better my life. And you know, I'm really appreciative, uh, appreciative of you both as well, doing this for me. I'm just grateful, man. I'm just happy, you know? <laughs> 100%, man. And again, we will definitely get in touch with you, um, you know, in the very near future sometime in the next few days, just to give you kind of the next steps. Because again, as a new reaver, it might be kind of confusing what to do, what to not do. But in terms of your testimony, in terms of your conviction, I'm glad that 100% you resonate with the truth. And for any of you guys watching, uh, you know, please make dua for Kevin that, you know, he stays steadfast on the path to becoming a better Muslim and to become a practicing Muslim and to keep him away from shaitan and just any type of evil and harm's way. I mean, I mean, I mean. One, one final word, if I may add. Um, you said you are grateful to us, Habibi. We are grateful, you know, to you for coming on and being, you know, accepting of the truth. And we're all grateful to Allah, alhamdulillah, because me and Fayad were in your position, perhaps even worse at a point in time. And it's really funny that you look at us now and you say you're grateful to us, when in reality, all three of us are grateful to the same source, alhamdulillah. And nobody alhamdulillah. really stumbles upon the truth as if it's an accident we only become guided and alhamdulillah each of us were you know humbled and sincere enough to actually accept it and we were not from the people who were arrogant and brush it aside so alhamdulillah all thanks is to allah who guided us alhamdulillah ya Rab. alhamdulillah man and you were brave enough to do this on camera um so man blows my mind mashallah think about Masha how many Allah. people you're gonna inspire now just because someone yeah. saying the shahada is so inspiring to people and it actually inspires more people to say the shahada. So may Allah make it, you know, uh, an act of, of worship and, and a good deed from yourself, Habibi Kevin. Mm -hmm. And allow to be amongst the first good deeds that, you, you know, you do while being a Muslim, mashallah. I mean, and guys, if, if all of you guys don't want to, you know, you don't have to come and do it with us. Uh, you don't have to have us record it. You don't have to do any of that. If you want us to not record it, cool, hit us up. If you would even not want to even join us and you want to do it just in your bed you're allowed to do it anywhere provided you have full conviction and full testimony and full trust in what you are saying and you're believing in we will put it in the description box below so feel free to head there and do the do when you're ready sure. but in terms of that kevin do you have any last words um no I'm, no i'm i'm, I'm happy <laughs> <laughs> he's ready all right guys so uh with that being said Remember, guys, uh, life is short. So, Rami, end it off for us. May Allah bless you all. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you again, Brother Kevin Habibi, our new brother in Islam. May Allah bless him. May Allah bless all of you and increase you all. Allahumma atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina adhaab nar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And alhamdulillah to Kevin for being Ireland's latest Muslim. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.